Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so cool. Hi, people, and welcome to this new video from the channel Mazigan. I hope you're fine, and I hope you're ready to talk about cool music from all around the world. And if you're new here, you can subscribe or like the video or share it on different social media platforms. It would be very fine. And uh, we are going to talk about Sherin. Yes, we are going in Egypt. And the album Anaktir from 2K14. We are doing a review of this. So, are you ready? Yes, we are. So let's begin with a brief presentation of Sherin. Sherin Abdul Wahed is now one of the main female singers in Arabic music. She's also the most famous singer in Egypt. Amal Mahi is not far, but Sherin got a huge fan base. And she's now the leading Egyptian singer for the female singer. She released uh, eight or nine albums since uh, 2K2, and she was uh, leaving uh, Rotana when she um, released the album Anaktir that we are focused on. This album was released on Nogum Records, so it's an Egyptian music company, and it was released as a 12 tracks album and mainly produced by Tuma. So we are doing a review of this right now. So the first reaction when I heard this album, it was in 2K14, uh, I remember I was very impressed by uh, all this song because it was very solid album with uh, many uh, impactful songs, different styles also, all, all was very well mastered and uh, very well produced. So I think I was uh, amazed by the, this album and I wanted to buy it right here, right now. In this seventh album of Sherin, there are so many things that are working. The production is very high, very high value for the production as there are many uh, instruments that are used and it's very well mixed with the vocals and also the, the keyboard and all the electronic uh, stuff. So huge accomplishment. I think Tuma has done a great job in uh, the composition are very impactful. Uh, she is uh, doing a classy album uh, here and uh, also classy but also popular at times. There are songs uh, that are in, are in the Egyptian style as uh, Dal Sotara or uh, A Little Gnome, uh, very uh, traditional. Some other songs are very classy and uh, more uh, introspective as Metarda uh, Melayam. Uh, it's a huge song with uh, uh, Spanish guitar uh, and flamenco ambiance. <laughs> Also, uh, gypsy and uh, uh, very Latin influences in the, in this one, and the song is very deep also. <laughs> There 
there were two videos for this album. The first was uh, Women Ertal. Uh, it's a dance house uh, groovy song with uh, Arabic strings behind uh, to make it more uh, Egyptian, maybe. And uh, it was uh, fun. Enjoyable at the uh, radio, but uh, far from the best song of the album. And uh, the second one was uh, Kuli Mel Melkak. Uh, it was a, a good song, very romantic, very uh, um, cheesy also, but it was nice and the melody was nice. <laughs> There are more personal songs as a Shukran Yasham, where the the lyrics uh, are talking about uh, Sherin's uh, uh, life and uh, the divorce for, from her husband, or Anaktil, very passionate song, very deep, with a huge introduction of uh, Sherin's vocals and a very uh, unique ambience. Uh, and after there is a, a beat uh, that is. Um, quite uh, haunting and this song is very nice. <laughs> Honestly, I don't see uh, things that are, are not working in uh, this album. What doesn't work? Mm, There's nothing much. Uh, of course, if you don't like Arabic pop, uh, this album mm, maybe uh, will not uh, make you uh, love it. But I think there are so many uh, layers in this album that uh, you should take a, a listen to it, uh, even if you're not an Arabic pop fan. Uh, otherwise, uh, for Ab Arabic pop fan, it's a huge, huge album that uh, you, you gotta grab. <laughs> Review marks now. So technical part, the vocals of Sharon uh, are um, simply amazing. She does always uh, great vocals, but this time the, there is a, a big, uh, big difference between the pop song and groovy song, where uh, she got some impactful and uh, powerful uh, uh, voice and um, the more subtleness and uh, careful uh, vocals in uh, some uh, slow song and uh, deep song and uh, personal songs. So the production is uh, just amazing. Uh, there are many instruments there, the ney, the violins, the out, the, there are many drums, different drums, different beats. Uh, even Kuli Melkak is without a beat, just with the piano and some strings. Uh, many diversity, the production is very, very high value here. And uh, for the artistic part, uh, the composition are very net, very impactful. All the song could be uh, some single, It's a great pop album. Uh, the lyrics are very diverse, uh, also very romantic, of course, but also personal. So I think it's a uh, very um, above average for this. Uh, and also the creativity uh, and the emotion. Uh, even the, the cover of the album is uh, really great. I think many person was uh, were involved in this and, uh, and you see a great job for everyone. The creativity, of course, it's a pop album, so it's not uh, exp experimental, but there are many uh, uh, layers and uh, also uh, Uh, way of mixing the, the instruments that are very interesting and uh, the emotion of the vocals of the intensity is a very uh, good album. 
buy it, stream it, skip it? Or of course you buy it. You have to buy it because it's an incredible album. It's a must buy album for every pop, uh, Arabic pop uh, fans. And also if you're interesting in Arabic pop, you don't know. It's a, I think it's a great beginning uh, because it's very diverse, very accessible and also uh, very high quality. <laughs> And the review is done now. Hope you like it. Uh, if it's the case, you can like, share it on different social media platforms or even subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Uh, if you agree or disagree with my uh, review or just my opinion, so you can talk to me in the comment below. Feel free to do it and I will answer to you. So uh, for the next video, I see some American artists. It will change. And from there, you can listen to every music that you want, as always, in streaming, in CD. Uh, please uh, feel free to, to take uh, care of yourself, of your, of your relatives. And uh, we'll see you very soon. And I uh, hope to see you very soon. <laughs>